Hello beautiful people, I'm at work again, so we've got ourselves another Pokemon card unboxing. So bear with me and I'll fill you We've got you ourselves right. the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box here today. I thought it would be a pretty good bargain because actually I think it worked out about £42, pound, um, which really isn't too bad. So it's almost, I don't know, £4 a pack, so that's pretty good with all of the extra bits. I've taken the plastic off of it, so let's go and dive in. It was upside down because I started recording this <laughs> and uh, messed up. So inside we have the um, player's guide. We have a load of code cards, which you guys are all welcome to if you can scramble through them first. And that's our Pokemon Go adventure awaits in Pokemon Go. And then we're left with the box just down here. So... Oh, okay. I actually really like, um, on the inside of the little sheath, it's got loads of lovely artwork. It's pretty. Right, so inside here we have a V-Star sticker or a magnet, I'm not too sure. I think it probably is a magnet, actually. Just down there. We have some damage counters, some dice. And if I, can I escape into that? Oh, okay, there you go. Just pull that out. So we got a Mewtwo V. There's our little gift in there. It's pretty cool. We have a boatload of energy cards. I shan't go through all of those because they are just energy cards. We have um, some... I think they're dividers for... I'm pretty sure inside there is a uh, sort of file. Um, yeah. Uh, we got ourselves another code card, which you guys are welcome to. And we have ourselves a load of um, protectors there, the card protectors. So put them just down there. And we get into the brass caps of it. So we've got ourselves. 10 packs of Pokemon Go. Hey, one's backwards. That's cheating. Right, I'll tell you what. We're going to go for that one first. Put those down now. There we go. So let's get into it. So we have... Um, I'm not sure what the card trick is on this. Good card for you. One, two, three. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, it's four. So we've got a V-Star instead of an energy there. We have a Spark. Um, I'm going to go through, and if they are sort of more valuable cards, I will pop the values up so we can see if it's actually worth buying for £40, I think. So Spark, Steelix, uh, Candela, Larvitar, Natu, Ambipomp, uh, Ambipom rather, Slowpoke. You'll have to, because um, I haven't been through these, I know there are three different cards which are dittos in disguise. So I'll do my best to keep an eye out, but if I do miss one, please just give me a holler. Um, so it's Biberal, or Biberal, Numil, oh there we go. Straight in on a shiny Charizard. It's a holographic Charizard there. That's pretty cool. Right, I'm going to open up. Fingers crossed, we get some good of those. So that's going straight in a protector. Yep. There we go. So we off and running. Look, pop that just down there. Okay, so we got. I wish I could do this slightly further away from the camera, but like I said, I'm at work at the moment, and it's a bit tough. <laughs> so, code card. Not very well printed, that one, but there you go. It's yours anyway. One, two, three, and four. So we're starting off with a fighting energy there. Oh, I think we've got something. I can see it. So we've got Soul Rock. Spark. Chansey. And a Squirtle, 
a Bidoof. This guy is one of the... Um, he's more valuable, actually, I think, because he's not actually the Ditto. But uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> we have an Onyx. Bibberill again. A Meltan original. We have a Melmetal uh, reverse there. Oh, and a Melmetal VMAX. Alrighty. Now that is one for another sheath, I think. Righty. I'm not massively sure of the values, but I have got a sheet filled out with them all on. So fingers crossed, that's two for two. That's not bad at all. Also, I apologise, this is my second unboxing of these, uh, well, not, not of these, but of Pokemon cards in general. I haven't played in a long, 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 long time, so I'm sorry if I get any of the names wrong. <laughs> I will do my best. There we go, so we've got another code card just there for you. One, two, three, and four. And we've got a Fire Energy. Ooh, are we going for another Charizard? There we go, so we have a Zatu, a Rare Candy, Slowbro, Charmander, Char Char, Apom. Again, I think Apom can be um, a Ditto too, I'm not sure. Bulbasaur, it's two starters. Pydove, Magikarp. So we have Unpheasant as our reverse, and a Lapras Hollow there. Lovely jubbly. I'm not sure of the value, so I will, anything that I get that's a hollow, hollow hit, I will shove in one of these. So, into pack number four. So, Spinarak, I think Spinarak can be, <laughs> I'm going to say this about all of them, I have been watching a lot of Pokemon card unboxings, but again, I don't pick up an awful lot. One, two, three, four. Psychic Energy. Allure Module. Aredos. An Egg Incubator. A Spinarak. Pikachu. It's pretty. Wimpod. Pydove. Bulbasaur. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Squirtle. And straight into a hollow Venusaur. Lovely, gently. So. I'm not sure whether every single pack has a hollow hit. Not too sure on that one. But we seem to be doing well if not. <laughs> right, sorry. This is off camera. So, we have our code card. Two, three, and four. Metal, um, is it metal? I'm not sure now. <laughs> Energy, water at all. Poker stop. Steelix. Wimpod. Pikachu. A Squirtle. Bidoof. I know Bidoof is definitely a ditto. Meltan. Ivysaur reverse. Oh, and a slacking V. Lovely jebly. Gonna have a lot of sorting out on these. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I had so few hits in the last um, 12 packs I've done, I think. <laughs> right. So. Here we go. So we've got, uh, sorry, code card. One, two, three, and four. Any hints and tips you have to openings or whether you'd rather them be more um, easy listening and less excitable and things like that. I know a lot of the unboxers are very shouty, so I will do my best not to do that. <laughs> so Water Energy, Steelix, Candela, Charmeleon, Apom, we have a Natu, and a Loan Raticate, Larvitar, a Loan Ratata. A Radiant Venusaur, oh my word, and a, a Rainbow Rare Candler. Okay, I think we might have some value here, because I'm pretty sure the Radiants are 
Umbrellas, and obviously the rainbow um, uh, candela is a secret rare in its own self. So, right, let's go rainbow there. I think actually radiant needs its own section. Actually, you can't see it. I'll put it over here. Right. Well, at the moment, I have a feeling we might be coming up to surpassing the forty-two pounds. So, that's not saying we can get the money for it, but <laughs> these are the values online anyway. So we have our code card. One, two, three, four. There we go. I think that one's the metal. Is that metal? Um, I'm, I can't remember. Dark? Something like that. Energy. Arados. A Charmeleon. Puppetar. Slowpoke. Bibarel, oh sorry, Spinarak, a Lowen Ratata, a Pydev, a Reverse Blissey, and straight into a Shiny Blastoise. There we go. I will put these um, reverses into jackets, but at the moment I'm going to stick with hollows, Vs, and etc. So we have Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Happy with that. I will be collecting this set because I think there are a total of, is it 78 cards in the set? And it goes to 88 with secret rares. Sorry. And um, we have our code card. No, we have a V Star. No energy this time. Ivasaur. Unpheasant. Um, Camerupt, a Meltan, Tranquil, a Squirtle, we've been very Squirtle heavy, I love Squirtle, and a Charmander. We have an Eevee, ah, excuse me, Numel, and a Malmetal Hollow. So I'm pretty sure there are Hollows in every single one, but I will put them in sheets because we've got little sheets. Yep. So, oh no, we're, we've only got two packs left. I'm not ready to finish. <laughs> I have um, a box of celebrations coming soon, not the chocolate. Um, I have um, a boost, uh, like a big box of the celebrations. Right, so, oh, excuse me. One, two, three, four. So we have a leaf energy, egg incubator. A Chansey, Solrock, a Lowen Raticate, Tranquil, a Lavatar, Natu, Amipom, Slowbro Reverse, and a Golisopod uh, um, hollow there. Well, I haven't seen any sneaky. Um, details but we shall see oh, we have one pack left and um, if I do I'll go through them afterwards and if I do find any and um, I will highlight them for you <laughs> uh, and obviously I will put the values on to coincide with that so we have our code card there one two three and four uh, fighting Energy, Pupta, Pokestop, Camerupt, Pydove, we've got a lot of repeats, Magikarp, Meltan, another Eevee, another Pikachu, so we have a Steelix Reverse, oh there we go, and we've got another V, uh, there's a Conkledur uh, V there. So, that is not bad at all, especially if you include the Mewtwo V that came with the pack. I think we've done pretty well. Now, I will pause you a moment and I'll go through and I'll see if we've got any hidden dittos. Right guys, so we have ourselves a ditto. So, we did get, so we had a um, reverse hollow Numel here. 
And if you look down the bottom corner, there's an F just there. Whereas the other numeral we have has a little picture, if I can show you, of a ditto. So uh, on the front of this, I shan't do it because it will detract value and I'm trying to show you whether we can get value from this or not. Uh, but it will um, it will peel off as a sticker, so you'll have a numel sticker, and then underneath you will have a shiny, um, excuse me, a shiny ditto. So, crack in. Right, I will go and tot up the totals, and I'll get back to you as to whether we succeeded or not. I'm sure you already know. So, <laughs> right. it's apparently a total of sixty seven pounds and eighty two pence. Um, obviously, there were loads on the website that I used that had um, the original cards that could turn into uh, a ditto. And they were apparently around the £5 mark as well. And obviously, I had like three or four of those and various other ones that have a little bit more value, but not enough. So, I mean, it possibly 70, 80 quid. I mean, if you were to tally it all up properly. So, I mean, practically doubled my money or at least gained 20 pounds and if you if we were just to take what we've got here and reduce it for um i don't know fluctuating prices and things like that i think we've got our money back so it's been fun and i get to put them all to my um, collection now and yeah fingers crossed and um, we get another box soon and with the celebrations that's coming soon um, that we have some good pulls as well so thank you all ever so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers now